Hello and welcome to Kate Made Designs. Today we're going to talk about the difference between raster graphics and vector graphics. Raster graphics, also known as bitmap graphics, are made from points of color called pixels. We are going to pretend that these perler beads are pixels. Here they are forming a circle, but the circle is not really round. It's more like a scallop circle because you can see each point of color. Raster graphics are resolution dependent. This means it cannot be scaled larger without losing quality. You can see we're losing a little bit of quality there. If I move the, the, these beads out to make the circle larger, it's not going to be as sharp as if they're all together. Um, and there's going to be a lot of spaces between them. The standard resolution of a screen image, the image you see, images you see on the internet, is 72 pixels per inch, or PPI, meaning there are 72 individual points of color in each inch of your image. This is 72 beads, 72 points of light. The standard resolution of a, of a printed piece is 300 dots per inch, or DPI. PPI and DPI are the same thing because a pixel is the electronic version of a printed dot. It would be always, it would be difficult, if not impossible, um, for these 72 points to give the same image quality as these 300 points. Now because I work in the print world, I'm always going to default to DPI. Um, if you tried to get these 72 beads to do the job of 300 beads, the image would be blurry or pixelated, which means you can see each individual point of color. Um, in the print world, 72 DPI is considered low resolution or low res, and 300 DPI is considered high resolution or high res. There is no resolution in vector graphics because they do not use pixels. They use the dreaded math. Computer software that creates vector graphics like Adobe Illustrator or Silhouette Studio rely on mathematical formula to create lines. A single vector is a line, either straight or arced, between two points. For those whose brains started hearing the voice of Charlie Brown's teacher, the minute I said math, let me demonstrate. This wire will represent a vector image. This line is made with pixels. This line is made with a vector. To move the vector, all I have to do is move one point, this point here. It moves quite easily. To move this pixelated line, I would have to move each individual point of light, point of, and it's still going to be crooked on this. Um, likewise, if I made the circle with the wire, I could um, easily scale it up or down to whatever size I like. Now let's go to the computer so I can show you how this works in the Silhouette Studio software. Images drawn with the, suit, with the silhouette, like this dog I've created, are all vector images. Because vector images can be scaled without losing quality, big or small, um, ve vector-based programs like Adobe Illustrator are used to create logos. We're gonna now. I'm gonna bring in a 300 DPI um, image that I want to cut. We're gonna go to Recent, and whoops. She is like the 50-foot woman. Actually, she's 417% larger than I had anticipated, that I had saved, because there are so many more pixels in a 300 DPI image than there are in a 72 point, or 72 DPI environment. Silhouette Studio is, works in the 72 DPI environment. Um, on the other, so when you bring in a high-res image like this woman, she's going to blow up huge. 
On the other hand, if you bring a low-res image into a high-res document, a 72 dpi image into a 300 dpi document, it's going to appear really tiny. It's only going to be 24% of the um, size that you're expecting. To be able to print this image, all I have to do is go up here and hit the print button. But I want to cut this image out. After all, that's what the silhouette is for. But you just, but just like you can't print a dot, silhouette can't cut a pixel. We can only cut lines, so we need to use the trace tool to make some cut lines. Come over here, and I'm going to turn off the high pass, turn on the low pass. We're going to play with the threshold here. And we're going to say trace outer edge. And when we go in close to take a look, you can see we have a nice smooth line that's perfect for a mat for her. So when we cut it out, it's going to be beautiful. The, um, so what have we learned today? Pixels are points of color that can be printed but not cut. High resolution images are for printing. Low resolution images are for the web. Vector images use the dreaded math to create lines that can be printed on a printer and cut on the silhouette. Vector images can be scaled up or down without losing quality. Hopefully you have a better understanding of what the difference is between a raster and a vector image and how and where they're used. If you have any questions, you can post them on the blog or on YouTube. I will respond not only in those places, but in your email box if it's included in your comment, because I don't like to go back and forth for the answers. I'm sure you probably don't either, so talk to you soon. Thanks for coming. Bye.